Back Road Ministry, the world premiere, Mr. Marty coming back at you live and direct. So, see that Claudia Scheinbaum becomes the possible or will become the first female president of Mexico. And funny, funny, very funny with this Claudia Scheinbaum story. Not only is um, she of Jewish descent, which is funny due to the climate that we're in and possible this Israeli situation leading us into World War, which we already are in, but her becoming the first female president of Mexico. And, you know, she's uh, the former mayor of Mexico City, Ms. Scheinbaum. And it opens up the door, possibly, for something I've been talking about. And that is the possible election of Donald Trump. And we'll talk about vibrations that we see as we talk about uh, the dawn. But also, why is it important that he chooses Nikki Haley? And we see Nikki Haley surprisingly over in Israel praying to the wall and getting in trouble in Israel because she just so happens, going to the news feed, to have um, wrote on a bomb Slaughter of humanity, Iran blasts Nikki Haley's finish them message on an Israeli bomb. So she writes, finish them on a bomb, basically acting as, pr- pretty much acting as if she's down with the situation. She's down with killing the people, you know, just she's down for the war, basically. And one thing you got to watch with Nikki Haley is her hypocrisy. And we'll get into some of her hypocrisy in a second. But let's go back to why all this is important. So if we if we go to our um Gematria calculator, we see president, we talk about vibrations. I know we haven't did vibrations in a while, but see how president's one ten, forty seven. See how Trump is 47 right now we have the time of the 46th president so as trump is elected he will be the 47th president 47th president so it's no coincidence that president is 47 trump is 47 um nikki haley has some strange number nikki haley is 51 and 57 and if you go to her finish them statement finish them 57 51. See the vibration? So it's a reason why she writes that statement on the bomb. It makes sense for her to write that statement on the bomb. Haley 51, vibrating with her full name. And of course, the finish them statement, which is 51. Got something on there. Um, Hush Money. Talk about this hush money campaign. We're talking about hush money all of a sudden. You see how hush money is 47 at the time of the 47th presidential election. President is 47. Hush money just so happens to be 47. So they already tell you where it's going. Pretty much the predictiveness of the presidency. How they try to get you manipulated into voting. World War. Is 42-48. See how World War is 48? See how Donald Trump is 48? So Trump is going to have a part of this world war. He's going to play a part in this. And we are in World War, ladies and gentlemen. Don't think we're not. See, there's Iranians already making comments. But funny how Nikki Haley, and we'll make sure we don't have any more vibrations because something else I'm going to point out. But funny how Nikki Haley writes this on a bomb, finish them, and it just so happens to vibrate with her name. Another thing is Shine Bomb. So Shine Bomb 
as I said, new president of Mexico. Shine Bomb is 52. And also she has a vibration of 38 to the death number. So she might want to watch a life. We're talking about Mexico. But Shine Bomb is 52. Shine Bomb is 52. And if you go to Nikki Haley again. I'm going to her Wikipedia page. You see how Nikki Haley is 52? Sean Baum is 52. Right now, Nikki Haley, 52 years old in November. She still will be 52 years old. If you go to President, see how President is 52? Sean Baum, 52, just elected President of Mexico. Nikki Haley, 52 years old at this time. Trump, possibly facing jail time. Might be a president that might have to go to jail while in office. And that opens the door for the first female president in America. So we're looking at a time when we got the Claudia Scheinbaum, the first female president of South America, and Nikki Haley, the first female president of America. But the thing is, we don't know where Scheinbaum stands in the Israeli conflict. We don't know where she stands. She hasn't really said much about her stance on everything that's going on. Very strange that she has not spoken up about that. Where does Mexico stand in this? Are Mexico going to be allies of Israel or enemies? Because if the Mexicans are going to be the enemies, then Mexico and America might have a showdown. Because Nikki Haley is saying, no, we're down for it. And it's a very dangerous situation for Nikki Haley to place herself in because you have a populace that's not down for it. So you see Nikki Haley kind of bring, being that person who could toss America into civil war because of her views. And her views are very hypocritical. And I'll tell you why Nikki Haley's views are hypocritical. Let's go deeper into the life of Nikki Haley. So first of all, Nikki Haley is actually Ni Marata Nikki Haley. Ni Randawa. She is really a Sikh born Indian. She's a Sikh born Indian. She's a child of two Sikh parents. She's a child of two Sikh parents originally, born in South Carolina. And when it comes to war, the Sikh have certain views of war. And remember, the core beliefs of Sikhism articulated in the Guru Granth Sahib include faith and meditation in the name of the one creator, so they believe in the one creator, divine unity and equality of all humankind. So the Sikh religion she's born in does not believe in blowing up other people. Engaging in Siva, and you hear them talk a great deal about Siva, which is selfless service, striving for justice for the benefit and prosperity of all, and honest conduct and livelihood while living, living a householder's life. So Sikhism does not teach blow up people. Sikhism does not teach finish them. But you see how America pollutes the mind. Now Nikki Haley, she's a real American now. The morals and values and core beliefs of the Sikh religion are gone. Now, kill everybody, destroy them, blow up kids, blow up children. You know, she's just all into this satanic way of thinking. And, you know, that's what this country does to people, unfortunately. So she's not born with these type of beliefs. She's not born with these type of core values. These are not things instilled in her. But she drinks the Kool-Aid. But we don't know why she's drinking the Kool-Aid. We can say she's drinking it for the opportunity and possibility to uh, to become president. But we know all presidents bow down to their handlers, and I'm going to say it that way. And as I always say, I'm not talking about the people who, in any religious group that actually practice their religion. But this is not a practice of religion. This is not a practice of religion, dropping bombs on people. It has nothing to do with the divine creator. 
divine creator that does not say thou shall drop bombs on your fellow man. But she's signing, and you see her signing the bomb. Signing the bomb, which is a gesture of signing my soul over. I belong to you. I'm willing to do whatever you guys want me to do to become president. And that's what happens. That's what happens. And suddenly, as I said, you weren't raised this way. You go totally against your core values, core beliefs, because I want to be the first. And for her wanting to be the first president, this is the this is what she's willing to do to herself because signing on to this pretty much signs on to a legacy of war, legacy of destruction, being known as the first and probably last female president after that for a long period of time because the country is going to turn on her. But she's willing to do that just so she can go in the history books. And, you know, some people, you know, sadly, you, you come from other places. You're not mentally tough. You can't take what's being said. You acculturate. Culturation means you become a part of that culture. You kill your culture, which has values and beliefs and benefits. And you take on a culture which, you know, people are not prescribing to it. Children at Clemson aren't prescribing to this. A lot of people aren't prescribing to this. And she goes and signs her name on a bomb just to say, see, I'm down. I'm your puppet, basically. And, you know, that has nothing to do with the religion of Judaism. Nothing whatsoever. And our community here where I stay, this community is torn. You have people in the Jewish community who still feel that, you know, this is the proper course to take. And now you have people in the Jewish community who are tired of it. They don't, they're they tired of the, the destruction that's going on in their homeland. And to involve yourself in a war like that, a war of core values, is a war of values and beliefs, is a very dangerous thing to do and to place your country in. But this is what she's willing to do to become president. So... You got Shine Bomb becoming the president of Mexico, but we don't know where Shine Bomb stands. That's the whole thing with the Shine Bomb situation. She's not saying where she stands in this war. She's not coming out and saying A, B, and C, meaning her first focus has to be Mexico. Remember, she has a different situation. She has a, a country ran by cartels, and we don't know if the cartels are going to be calling the shots for her, and she'll be their puppet. But, uh, you know, we don't want wars on multiple fronts. And we don't definitely want a situation where Mexico converges on us. That might become a dangerous situation. But we don't know where Shine Bomb stands in this. Uh, we know Trump and the Hush Money trial, possibility of jail time. They'll have this in court for a long period of time. Trump will be the 47th president. We called this a while ago. We know that's going to happen at Trump is going to be number 47. So everything kind of vibrates towards Trump. Trump becoming 47. This calculator kind of eradicates everything. You put stuff on it, eradicate. So all our information. And you see where he's headed with the calculator. Now he wants you to log in your information and give him all your information. He's just sold his soul as well. But this is a situation. Could Nikki Haley possibly become... The first female president. I've been talking about certain scenarios that could take place. We talk about Biden. Does he make it to November? But we definitely see a situation where Nikki Haley, Trump's girl, remember Trump picked her. He picked her to be the ambassador there. So Trump definitely has been grooming her for a long period of time. He's one of Trump's buddies to take that position. So not only would she be the first female president, she'd be the first president of, of, of Indian descent. She would be the first Sikh in the office. But right now, you know, she is not living up to the core values of the Sikh and the principles of the Sikh by signing the bomb. And that's the sadness of, you know, what happens to a lot of people in this country. No matter what, you don't give up your culture, especially when you have a culture that has very strong core beliefs about humanity, selflessness and service, and, you know, loving, loving, loving your fellow human being. It's not about blowing people up and seek culture. And totally, you know, I, I don't know how her mom and dad feel about her right now that finished them on that bomb. 
I mean, I don't know how they feel about that. And, you know, what type of what type of child are you showing that example to your parents that what they've instilled is, you know, worthless? It doesn't mean anything because I need this. And that's pretty much what it's about. When we talk about people selling their soul, as Nikki Haley did, it's all about I need this. That's all it is. I need this. I'm willing to do this to be the president. And you're not even caring that you're playing a part in the game. So it was meant for her to write her name on that bomb. By her writing her name on that bomb, she got what she wanted. The possibility of her becoming the next United States president. And Trump will have her on a ticket. Now, how does Trump feel about her writing her name on that bomb? Is something else. We don't know. We don't know how he feels about that. But this is what Haley's willing to do to show pledge her allegiance to the gang of foolishness that we don't know where this is going to entail, but we are in World War Three. Remember, the Iran- Iranians blast Nikki Haley. So if she in office, you know they're coming, they're coming after her and coming hard. And these folks, they think that World War changes you know, that, you know, war is going to be a nice thing. It's not. War is going to come here. But do you think they care? It's kind of like Fallout. If you watch Fallout, you know, you got a bunch of folk who use war to recreate the world in their own image. Or some of these folks that think they're a part of the script when they're not. Nikki Haley will never be a part of the script. Never be. She will never be a part of the script. She's a Sikh. And probably a, you know, from high powerful lineage in the Sikh dynasty. But there's a reason why they want her to be the poster child for, for this right here. Remember, she's of Sikh parents. So this is always that change. And when we talk about that last president, are we talking about the last line of presidents coming from the English? Possibility, because Trump will still be that last president. But then Nikki Haley does not come from the English lineage. She's a straight to the core Sikh. Her people are straight from India. So that could be what they mean by the beginning of this end of how we elect presidents. No more coming out of that bloodline and this new breed of presidents emerge that take us through the war zone. And, you know, that lineage is not blamed for the destruction of America. It'll be blamed on somebody else, possibly Nikki Haley, um, for the destruction of America, which is close and near at hand. Mr. Mokti, Back Road Ministry, Peace and Agrees.